Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To our beloved lecturer, Dr. Nuzaimah My name is Nur Faizah binti Maknur My name is Nur Hidayati binti Rusli My name is Nur Aishahira binti Mustafa Today, we will present our first assignment of material testing subject For introduction, I will explain about what is non-destructive testing Non-destructive testing is the process of inspecting, testing or evaluating materials, components or assemblies for discontinuities or differences in characteristic without destroying the service ability of the part or system. In other words, when the inspection or test is completed, the parts can still be used. Cover the types of defect discontinuities or inconsistencies we suspect can occur and we and where are most likely to occur in our chosen part. In this assignment, we have been chosen the wheel as our part. Wheel being the most sensitive part of vehicle because wheel tend to get damaged quickest. So there are a few defect that often occur at the wheel, such as corrosion. Crack, gorge, crop defect, and bad side bend. Okay, here we can see the corrosion defect of wheel. Next is crack and gorge. The picture have show the crack and gorge defect. Crack and gorge can occur from a hard impact, such as a hitting pothole, curb, speed bump, or accident and other hazard. Crack or gorge area will be filled with a durable well, well that will not alter the structural integrity of the wheel and allows for a safe repair. Next, the most suitable non-destructive material testing to detect the defects in the car wheel is magnetic particle testing. Magnetic particle testing is a non-destructive testing process used to detect surface and slightly subsurface flaws in most ferromagnetic materials. There are many factors that we consider when selecting and planning the non-destructive testing. The first factor is types of material. Most car wheel is made up of aluminium wheels. And the majority of wheels today are cast aluminium alloy, which are built with a blend of nickel and aluminium. Second factor is feasibility of magnetic particle testing. This testing is good for ferromagnetic materials. Nickel is one of ferromagnetic material. The defect can be detected by using magnetic particle testing since the wheel is built with the blend of nickel and aluminium. Third is characteristic of material particle testing. The test method process is quick and simple in principle and application. Fourth is defect capability. This testing can detect surface or near surface flaws such as cracks, laps, seams and inclusions in ferromagnetic materials such as iron and steel. Fifth is cost. Magnetic particle testing is a popular as a low-cost method to perform non-destructive testing. And the last factor is quality assurance. Magnetic particle inspection can give an immediate indication of defects and discontinuities without harming the part in any way. Right now, I will explain the step of doing the magnetic particle testing. First of all, we decide to choose magnetic particle testing is because the method can detect surface and subsurface discontinuity. Let's jump to the procedure. Firstly, we need to prepare the equipment. For the testing, the equipment are car wheel, AC yoke, burma control strip, and wet constable which is black oxide and white contrast. After settle with the equipment, we need to test the AC yoke with the burma control strip. This test is to make sure the yoke is ready for testing on the wheel. For AC yoke testing, we need to put the Burma control strip against the AC yoke. Then, spray black oxide on the Burma control strip. When three strips appear on the Burma control strip, that means the yoke is on the optimum condition and this condition will be used when doing inspection. When the yoke is ready with 4.5 kg calibration block and in the optimum condition, the wheel is ready for a test. First, 
spray the white contrast on the wheel surface with the distance not over than 6 inch far. Then, place the yoke against the wheel that have white contrast while in the same time spray black oxide on the white contrast, make it layer on the wheel. Observe the wheel surface to detect the crack or discontinuities on the wheel. Keep doing the same movement of the yoke with different angle until it cover all surface of the wheel. That's all the step for magnetic particle testing. We have found the defect that occur on the wheel is cracked. As we can see in the picture, they have been cracked on the wheel. Usually, this crack happen because of an accident or really dangerous road debris. Most modern vehicles come equipped with alloy wheel that are a blend aluminium and magnesium. This wheel typically last longer than traditional metal wheel. The the only downside is that aluminium aluminium is rather brittle metal and therefore is prone to therefore is prone to being bent, deformed and cracked. Baking over herbs are improperly attempting to fix bend will call or lead to cracked wheel. What can be concluded from this assignment are we acknowledge that a hard and strong metal or steel still have defects but the defect will not endanger people. Next, we choose magnetic particle testing is because the equipment of testing is safely to use without cause any damage. Lastly, magnetic particle testing is suitable for the chosen component which is car wheel. Thank you doctor for listening.